Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Mr. Lix, and we are back again for another reaction here on Mr. Lix Reactions. Now, guys, I saw a video. Some folks tagged me in the video and like, yo, why don't you do a reaction on it? And boom, here I am about to do a reaction for you guys. Now, guys, I have this question to ask you. How do you get. <coughs> this is flabbergasting to me. How do you get beat up by someone? With a piece of provision and you have a knife. I don't understand how does that happen? Guys, this kind of stuff you only see in Japanese movies. For example, a guy taking a feather and just cutting you in half with a feather. Now guys, I believe it is my duty for me to go through this video and tell you what exactly went wrong with this picture. You beat up by a piece of provision. Guys, let's check this video, shall we? Okay, let's pause it right there. So we see this guy in the white shirt turns back to look at the guy in the black shirt with an orange bag thing in his hand. Bow! He pulled out this kind of thing. I don't know if it's a pencil or a knife or something, but it definitely looks like a knife because I don't think you threaten anybody with a pencil. However, just because you have a pencil or a knife doesn't mean you are more dangerous than the other person right there. So it really doesn't mean nothing. Now guys, you see this guy flinging the knife all over the place and whatnot, looking like he's threatening people. First of all, nobody's taking this guy serious. You know why? Because he has an orange looking back purse in his hand. Flinging a knife with an orange looking purse in your hand doesn't make you a threat at all. Nobody's gonna take you as a threat. So I think that is point number one right there, that he threatened a guy with an orange purse in his hand. Pretty much that's what's going on there. Nobody is moving. Nobody is really moving. I mean, if I see somebody for a night, the first thing I go to do is move. But the mere fact you have the orange bag in your hand, Papa God, you, you, <laughs> you don't go nowhere with that. <laughs> he put on his bag. Oh, you see what happened? You see what I told you guys? As soon as he put on the bag, that is when people really got serious. So, so if you have to come with somebody for a knife, guys, do not use a orange bag. Do not, don't carry up. You not a purse. You not a purse. You have. You come to try to threaten somebody. Put down your purse. Put down your your, your orange bag. You have the orange bag. My God, <laughs> the orange bag. You have first of all, Mark Wesaman. Anyways, let's continue that man. So as soon as he 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 he, he put down the bag, he tried to threaten people. <laughs> My brother, from that instance, the second thing you should have worried about, when a man decide he coming to threaten you, and the person you come and threaten moves at a distance, he doesn't run, you know. My brother, that is pure sign for you to just pick up your things and go at your mother home. That's all you have to do. You have no dealings being here. The person didn't run from you. Ay, 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 brother. Ay, ay, ay. Yourself are going nowhere. What are you going to do? You want to send the knife behind him? If you have a knife, it's not a gun you have. You have to go behind the person with the knife. No, guys, I'm not advocating that you go behind people with knives. Don't get me wrong. But I'm just saying, if you come to attack somebody with a knife, you shouldn't be at a distance. You, you're not a ninja to be flinging knife all over the place. You should be close range with the person. But the other brother saw that and he said, okay, you want to threaten me with knife? No problem. Look at him, threaten the guy with the, at, the, at the distance. Let me pause. It. When the moment the guy saw the other guy pick up a piece of thing, was the time that this guy knew he messed up in his attack. You know, you, you, you cannot tell me you're trying to track me, man, from a distance with a knife. That is foolish. That is foolish. You cannot. What, what do you want to fling the knife behind him or something? <laughs> Bro, to bring your mother. Come on. <laughs> I swear that it's David and Goliath. Both of them same size. But that is a piece of thing. <laughs> People are saying this was actually a, a small piece of potato or a small piece of yam that this guy took off from wherever he took it and fling behind this guy and it knocked him out cold. That is the kind of aim that you're using to take mango down from tree. That is the kind of strength that you're using to pelt coconut from tree and fall down. That is the kind of strength. Guys, he didn't have a fighting chance against that hand. Let's, let's watch that replay again. Let's watch that replay again. <laughs> Be deep in your water, it's straight. You mean to you, your head so uh, you, your head so magnetic. <laughs> this guy aims so straight that the boy move and it still call like him direct in his head. You he are too deep, basu deep. You don't know what happened. He's okay, but what happened to me now? What what, what happened to me there? That's what he thinking. What happened to me there, Lord? But you got to go to home, man. You just embarrass yourself. You go, get up from the ground, my brother. Guys, this is why I strongly believe that if you are threatening somebody, if you are looking to pick a fight with somebody, you should be winning the fight. 
How you lose in the fight you supposed to be winning and you that pick the fight? That don't make any sense. <laughs> but take your bag and go. You gonna, oh, you have to rest. Okay, well, rest in this part of it. Eh? Console him. Console him. He need to console him. <laughs> Guys, like I tell you before, if you threatening somebody, win the fight. No, my God. What kind of embarrassment you trying to do yourself then? Eh? Ay, 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 man. Anyways, guys, let me know what you think about the whole, the whole situation right there. Who do you really feel sorry for? Do you feel sorry for the guy who got knocked the hell out? Or do you feel that like the guy throwing the yam shouldn't have done that? He should have just walked away. So what do you think about the whole situation right there, guys? Let me know in the comment box below.